Hi, this is Imogen with Body Intelligence and I decided to just do a short little video to show you a nice um, little, you might call it a desk stretch, something you can do in your seat if you've been working a long time at the computer and you notice you're getting compressed and sucked into that screen. And so, as with all my work, um, it's how we do something rather than what we do that um, is the most important thing. So we're going to pay a lot of attention to how we do this very simple little stretch. Um, so the first thing is to make sure you're on your sit bones, so you're letting the weight go through your sit bones, um, allowing your spine um, to, be, to be long and your feet are flat on the floor in front of you and you're somewhat toward the edge of your chair. So to start off, just let your arms hang by your side. Again, notice the sit bones, allow the breath and sense your fingertips. And we're going to use the fingertips to guide the arms into movement. So just very lightly, let your fingertips guide your arms arcing up into the air and above your head. Take a moment and then just let your arms fall at the elbows. So they come down and sort of the wrists or the palms of your hands are resting on your head. And at this point, um, let yourself feel that weight, but sort of meet it. We don't want to let ourselves push down. We're not squashing ourselves down, but nor are we pushing up. We're just meeting that weight and letting it go through. So you can sort of sense your length from the top of your head down to your sit bones on the chair. Quietly, just pay attention to your breath, moving in and out of your body. And then sense your fingertips again, let them guide the arms up above your head. And then as you bring your arms down, at the same time I want you to think of your head going up. So it's sort of like one of those corkscrews where as the arms come down the cork is going up. So what we don't want is as the arms come down we sort of sink down with them. So I really like this little um, exercise. It reminds our body of its poise, of its full length and width has a little bit of an element of a power pose, power pose within it as we're letting our body really open up and extend out. So let's just do it again. So feet on the floor, free to notice my sit bones and my head balancing at the top of my spine, noticing the breath, letting the arms hang down, guiding the arms arcing up over above the head, letting myself breathe, folding at the elbows, meeting that gentle weight down onto my head, noticing my breath move in and out, moving my whole torso, just quietly, we're not doing anything special. Fingers lead the arms up overhead again, and as they go down, just knowing that the head is going up. And it's just a nice, gentle reminder to the body to be open and expansive, to remember its length and its width, and you can continue with your work. I hope you found that useful.